Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Appreciate you clicking. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about rendering from Vegas Pro to QuickTime 7 and some issues that some people are having finding QuickTime 7 within the options. Before we talk about that, I do want to let you know that I live stream on Twitch and YouTube. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, links to those are going to be down in the description. And I do highly suggest the video that I've linked in the description below this gentleman. He explains it very well on how to create it. This is actually how to activate QuickTime 7 once you've downloaded the application. Okay, enough talking. Roll the intro. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about how to activate QuickTime 7 within Vegas Pro so that you can render your projects with a transparent background. So first thing you need to do is go to Options. Then go down to the bottom where it says preferences and then go to the deprecated features tab and click enable the QuickTime plugin. Click apply. And then it's going to say that you need to restart the application. Click okay. And then click okay. Once you've done that and you've restarted the application, you should be able to go to file render as and see QuickTime 7 as a render option. And that's it guys. Hey, I hope this helps you. Like I've mentioned several times, if you're looking for the video on how to do all this, link in the description on a guy that made an a incredible video on it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. If you like the video, go check out some of my other videos. If you want to hang out during the live streams, again, those links are going to be down in the description. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.